How are you doing YouTube and welcome back to another episode of my vanilla Minecraft Let's Play. Episode 74 I do believe. And uh, yeah we're playing on the old TCP server. If you want to join, jump on. The IP is in the uh, description so come on in. And um, yeah so today we are literally going to I'm going to, well I'm going to show you what I've been up to and uh, but first of all I need to uh, address a comment I've had a few episodes ago now so I do apologize for the late reply but they eventually do come around into the let's play if I feel like I want to shout them out so we've got oh my god dibs you've got to fix that chest for blue dye it's killing my OCD dad of three girls uh, thank you for your comment and I'm going to put that back up there. So don't forget, everyone else, get your um, comments in the comment section. Um, Blue, and I'm not quite sure what he was on about. If he's on about the lapis up there, um, to me that's kind of an ore because you use it for, it's like, um, it has a special purpose. So these are like my valuable ores. That is classed as a blue dye, right? But technically it should be over here. But the, the only thing is, um, it's kind of yeah, it's kind of like an ore for enchanting and, and deco block. To me, it's got more of a purpose than just dying stuff. So if that's what you mean, um, I'm not 100% sure if that's what you mean, but I reckon he means the lapis here because I tried to figure out where, what it was. Unless it's like I don't know the order of these, like, like you got blue there and blue here. Um, maybe that's what it is. Maybe if we go, oh wow, there's a lot in there. I don't want to do that. Yeah, maybe it's like these. I'm not sure, but I think it's the lapis. I think Dad of Three Girls means that the lapis should be over there. But there, there's a reason I keep it near the valuables is because it's used for enchanting and stuff like that. So hopefully that's cleared it up. If not, reply to me in the video and um, s tell me what what you what you mean. Because um, yeah, I wanna I wanna make sure that I uh, stop your OCD from going off the rails. So today I'm gonna give you a bit of a rundown on um, basically I'm going to give you a rundown on what I've been up to we're going to leave the power room for now um, we will we, we'll go back to that because I have no plans for it at, as, at the moment I'm trying to um, get some ideas but I've been working on this it's a vi infinite villager breeder look at it, it's amazing so um, I might make a, a tutorial of this this is an impulse SV um, farm. I got it from Impulse SV, but I'll probably do a tutorial separate. I'm not 100% sure, but all it is is a nine by nine area here, right? And um, you put loads of crops in. The hardest part of this build is literally getting the villagers in. But thankfully, I've got. Um, I'll, I'll go to it now just to kill some time, I guess. Um, how I got them down was through a lot of patience and time. So as you all know, I've got a purifier. We've made a purifier earlier on in season two. It was quite quite far back now. We're, we're talking about probably I don't know f at least fifteen episodes, maybe twenty. Um, I can't be sure. But we made this purifier. Okay, so if we quickly pop up here, and I use this purifier to my advantage. Okay, so this is how it's originated from. Is from the um, the spawners here. So, all I do is, when I get a zombie villager, and I mean a zombie villager, what I done is I literally didn't I didn't cure him. I literally made him follow me into a trap down below near the um, village new villager breeder. Now this is good to get villagers and get trades, but it's not that fast and it's not that efficient to me. This is very slow and boring to try and get your villagers. And I'm going to need some paper. So I'm going to need that for a trade in a minute. Um, so to get villagers this way is really, really slow progress. But the one thing I want to integrate is the whole tripwire thing at the top. I want this downstairs. And maybe use these... Um, um, this area probably might become obsolete before long. But... Yeah, so, you know, you're waiting for... The trouble is with this design is you're waiting forever to try and get the relevant zombie, right, from the spawner. And then you might not even get the correct villager. So, what I done was I waited for him to come down here, simply just put an axe to this fence, 
let them sort of like follow me all the way down here. So imagine one following me now. So I'm getting him to follow me. Where's the where's the thing? And then when I got them close to where the villager breeder was, literally I trapped them using half slabs, which I don't think I have on me. I was using stone ones. Um, and made them follow me all the way down here. It was very painful though. I've got to admit, it was extremely painful to do. But once you get two in there, that's it. That's a piece of cake. So I literally trapped them. So I trapped them inside here. I like had a little hole here. They followed me in. I managed to trap him in somehow. It was a long story. And um, yeah, so like you literally trap one in one corner, trap one in the other corner so they can't hurt each other. And then cure them. And then you let them go. Obviously replant. And then Bob's your uncle. And then, yeah, you've got a villager breeder. So what happens is, is when they're in here, they have to... Um, they have to have, for some reason, the new mechanics are. They've got to have farmland or something. Um, so they can kind of trade between each other. I'm not sure. Um, and you've got a 9 by 9 area of potatoes. There's a little hole here. So there's a there's a block there so the adults can't get under. And there's a trap door there. You can see the trap door. That's where the babies run under because they're one block high. They run under here, fall down here, and there should be some down here. But we don't have any in there yet. Um, what have you got? Let's have a look. So what I need to do is make sure that this this bit here is a bit more efficient. So what I need to do is make sure that I can get them into kind of like a, a new shop area. Like before, we had them where they were like running around saying, right, okay, we'll trade you this, we'll trade you that. Um, I kind of want to go down that route again. This area could come out actually, to be fair. So I'm really happy with this design and it's closer to my base. So um, we're not relying on um, zombie spawners to, to provide us with... Um, villages because that was a slow process so by making this I, I don't know why I didn't do this earlier so once you've got enough zombie villages all you do is just lure them where you need to lure them and then next thing you know you've got villagers breeding all sorts of babies here there's another white coat there that's good um, so basically all I need to do now is make them so they filter out and come out here I'm gonna have this whole wall as a trading area I guess right next to the squid farm I think that's a pretty good shout, really. There's a random hole there. What's that going to? Oh, that must have been gravel. Um, that's my storeroom down there. So just grab some bricks. Just cover that up a little bit. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty proud of this. I'm, it took me ages, and I wanted to. If it wasn't for the fact that it was going to take so long, I would have done an episode out of it. But I've just given you a rundown here and kind of concentrating on this little bit here. But yeah, look, it's cool. And I want to kind of want to make a walkway going all... Oh, there's some slimes getting killed. As you can see, they're attracted to the golem. I don't think we've seen this in action yet. Actually, now they're attracted to me, so I need to back off. Am I far enough away now? I don't know, they're attracted to me. But when they're not focused on you and aggroed on you, they go towards the middle and they... Yeah, all, all the drops go into the hoppers. That's cool. So what I want to do is have a walkway. The only problem is this is becoming out of sync with the rest of the base. And I wanted to go all the way around, but I don't think this base is going to allow it without disturbing this room. So what's going to happen is this whole wall here will be gone. And it'll be like kind of like a little walkway. Be yeah, and it's not really going to work, is it? I mean, this is five, hang on, one, two, three, four wide, and that goes into three. Is this four wide? No, all these are, yeah, so this is four wide, that's three. So that's not too bad, but if we make this come out any further, that's going to be odd. So I need to think about what I'm doing here. So as you can see, the uh, villagers are breeding now, and the, another thing to note with this build as well is you need to go, I went into the center here of the farm, this is the direction I choose to go and you got to go seven blocks down and then dig uh, you need to put six Let's see if I can have a look so there's I've gone two blocks behind these doors 
Oh, well, sorry, one block behind these doors. And wait a minute. There's no villager in here. Where is he in here? I was going to say, if he's been eaten by... Oh, no, he's here. Right, so you put you get a villager down here as well, which is, once again, another easy task once you've got the zombie village, uh, zombie spawner. The zombie spawner has made it a lot easier, granted, but it's still been quite tricky to get them in here. So you need to go seven blocks from the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven down. And then you go two blocks in. So, like, you've got two sets of doors. Two sets of three doors there. Um, glowstone so no mobs can spawn. And he's going to be the kind of backbone of the farm and then make sure that this took a lot of digging that goes to the sky that has to have di these doors have to have direct access to the sky otherwise it doesn't work and they won't breed and we've got lots of adults breeding in here so I might have to eventually go in here and take them out if it gets too much we've we got any more babies down here or have they all grown up that's the only trouble the babies don't always go in um, which is kind of a pain but nonetheless, let's see if we can get a mending. I want mending. If I get mending, I'm going to repay uh, X germs. Because I borrowed from X germs um, his mending. His book of mending. I think a f quite a while back now. And I need to return it. I need to return him that. I've also paid him. Uh, but he can keep the diamonds. I've paid him like half a stack of diamonds. Have we got any more trades? Okay, we need three diamonds okay that's that's not too bad I mean, it's not sorry diamonds emeralds it's not you you might went you really dibs you just paid three emeralds for a bookshelf well i'm not really hurting for emeralds to be honest um i just want to get mending he's extremely valuable to me if he gets mending yeah you're welcome so yeah yeah, not all. The only trouble is with this farm, this is not the most efficient farm because there's ones that are really smaller than this. Um, but I like it because it's on show. It kind of takes up more of the base. Um, what? He's trying to breed? Okay. Let's see if you've got mending. I don't think he's going to have mending. Can I still get any more? Yeah, let's trade some more paper, see if we open up any more trades. The, the, I tell you what, I'm glad I built that sugarcane farm because it's printing me money in Minecraft, so to speak. Okay. I'm wondering if I should go in there. I'll go this side, so... might make a dash for it I need to make a door maybe so as you can see there's a there's a there's a bit here where they can't go in I wonder if I break that it makes any difference I don't think it does what do we have here do we have mending I'm after mending aqua affinity is not too bad what have you got luck of the sea that's not too bad All I need to do now is decorate this place. I think that's going to be in another episode, possibly, because I'm just trying to show you what's going on here. It's very, very simple. Simple trapdoor, a couple of sign, you know, uh, water elevator, done. Very simple. All I want. All I want, sir, is that enchanting. Book. All I need that is that enchanting book, and I'm 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 golden. I think. Oh, another thing to note as well about this farm is when you get a zombie village. Luckily, I, I was able to choose from the spawner because you need a brown coat guy. Definitely, I think he's a farmer. Yeah, so he's a farmer. So without a farmer, you you're gonna have trouble because you need a farmer to. I don't know how it works exactly, but you definitely need a brown coat. The other one, you need at least two villagers in here. The other one doesn't matter who he is. Why is he looking down? Okay, we need to 
open up some trades. I need to find mending. It's my goal for today. If I can get men mending, I'm going to be happy. Toolsmith. It's a bit of pants, really. So the beauty of this is it's closer to my base, um, and it's a bit more. It's a bit more accurate than the zombie spawner, and it's a bit more quicker to get what I want. So this is the only way I'm going to get mending. Knock back. So you, my friend, are no good to me. I don't think this. I, I don't think that matters. He's not the right one, but you can go in nonetheless. Can I do that? In you go. Okay, let's see if we can get mending out of this one. Oh, driving a hard bargain, isn't you, sir? Uh, nine books. No deal. I don't have enough emeralds either. So let's just get out here. Make sure they don't get out. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a quick door. Um, I'm not necessarily sure the door is going to be there. So what we do is we block this up. Make sure they can't get out because we don't want them getting out. And I need some wood. So that is the um, new, the new villager breeder, which I find extremely useful. Um, it's a lot better than what I had before, even though I spent quite a bit of time on the, on the purifier. The purifier is still good. I'm still probably going to keep it there. Um, but the only trouble is the purifier is a bit obsolete now. Um, it's served its purpose, it's kind of, it hasn't really, mind you, we could just go to town on the show, let's ju yeah, let's just take a load of emeralds, take a stack of emeralds, because we can, oh, we need to make a door, don't we, do I happen to have a spare door lying around, or even a gate would be fine. I think a gate actually won't be won't be a wise idea in case we get a zombie coming in. Right. There we go. More quickly. I need more crafting benches around here. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. So yeah, um big shout out to Dad of Three Girls. Thanks thanks for your um comments. Or your comment. And um Everyone else that watches, you know, keep the comments coming. I, I am going to start um, in, incorporating everything, uh, making sure that you guys get a shout out if if I feel it's worth it. I'm probably going to stick. I can't put it there. I could put it there. You know what? I'm going to put it here. That's silk touch, by the way. Yeah, I kind of like that. It's like a glass, glass bit, and then does this will this break it though? One, because they're a bit funny about doors, isn't they? Villages. Oh shoot! That was a really bad move. I just remembered. gonna have to be iron in it because they can't open iron doors it's gonna have to be an iron door anyway let's carry on trading I almost forgot <laughs> that would have been an ultimate derp yes I want all your bookshelves even though I don't need them so we get an iron door here um, don't ask me why it's white and and orange it's just kind of what I had on me and let's have a look Come on, stop being so tight. We've got another white coat over there, or is that the same one? Efficiency three, you ain't gonna give me what I need. Sorry sir, but you ain't gonna give me what I need. And they just broke some crops, that's fine. Um, this is going to be awkward. Okay, I'm going to put an iron door there, I think, definitely. 
Let's see what you've got, sir. Power two. Mm, see what else you got. You must have something else. At least I'm getting loads of glass. I definitely need glass anyway. Saves me cooking it. And considering emeralds is not really an issue. Okay, we're gonna get any more swirly swirlies? Or are you done? Don't tell me you're done. Because your enchantments are pretty rubbish, if you want me to be fair. Power too. I mean, seriously, sir. Have we got another one down there? No. We've got another baby somewhere. Okay, that's cool. Go on then, go down the hole. Come on, you're live on YouTube. Well, you're not live, but you're on YouTube. Come on, do what you need to do. Show the audience what you're what you're made for. Let's put another block there so you can see. Come on then, do it. Get down there. Come on. You sir drive a hard bargain. I don't think I like you anymore. Bye. Okay. So I need to set this up, I need to have some sort of idea, but I'm, I'm, it's going to be a lot of faffing around, so I'm probably not going to do this bit on camera. But what I might do is I might do this off camera, or at least do a time lapse in an episode somewhere, um, where you, once I've got an idea of doing all this up, um, it's probably going to follow a lot of the suit here, to be fair. I think it's going to be kind of like just a transition here. Oh, hello. See, look, see the slime? Yeah, cool. And then this whole wall here can be like a trade post. So we can have like loads of them. But the only thing is, if they go here, I can hear them from my storeroom. So maybe I can turn the sounds off, but nah. I need to think about it a little bit, to be fair. And I'm going to have the books from this, because I don't want it as a bookshelf. So. Cool. But yeah, this, this is working a treat. It's not super duper fast, but it's a lot more... I've had a lot more white coats in, like... I better open the gate. By the way, there's a gate switch here. So if it's open, they float up. But if it's closed, they will drown. So that's the whole point of that. And I need to keep an eye on the... Uh, well, there's no door there now, but I need to make sure that an iron door does not affect that down there. Because that goes all the way to the sky, and we don't want to affect nothing. So yeah, I, I think that's pretty much it for this episode. This is pretty much what I've been up to. Oh, by the way, make sure you put lights up there, because otherwise you get mobs spawning in there, and it'd be nasty but i need to kind of take some time to kind of get this room kind of a bit more in top shape sort of thing so and this area here i want this to be a the idea with the slime farm here is i want it so i've got a balcony so you can walk around it and you can see all the slimes for yourself like doing what they need to do but um that's still a work in progress i need to kind of still dig around down there and I think I've dug all the way from the top now the top's done um, obviously cover it back up make sure that all the grass is put down and, and stuff like that and then the other problem that I've got is getting inside and out so what I need to do is I need to make sure that I've either got what either doors that go into every level that's that's one option or automate it where it goes into one specific spot that is the other option, so I'm not sure yet um, to be continued with that. We've created some dark spots here. Spam it with torches. So yeah, there we go. That's what I've been up to. I, I, I like it. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Um, before we go, don't forget to get the comments in because it will be going into the... Uh, comment section the comments book 
And if you subscribe and I get an email saying that you subscribed, you will be getting a shout out every so often. So just stay tuned for that. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it, I guess. Um, if you don't, for example, if I don't get an email and you've already subscribed recently, because I see numbers go up and the only trouble is with that is it doesn't always tell me that you've subscribed on the email. So if it doesn't tell me, then Feel free to shout at me in the comments section. Say, Dibs, look, I've just just subscribed. I, you know, I'm not even in your subscriber book. So, you want to be getting in into these into these two books if you can. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I shall see you soon. Take it easy.